For many years, educators measured human intelligence by one factor, our IQ or intelligence quotient. An IQ is thought to determine how well we did in school, in life, in everything. However, Harvard professor and Brock laureate, Howard Gardner, challenged this notion with his theory of multiple intelligences, which states that we actually have a number of different intellectual capacities, including language, logical mathematical analysis, spatial representation, musical thinking, the use of the body to solve problems or to make things, an understanding of other individuals, as well as an understanding of ourselves and our fit in the world. We all differ in the various combinations of intelligences and how we use our intelligences to carry out different tasks, solve diverse problems, and grow as human beings. These differences challenge educational systems that assume that everyone can learn the same materials in the same way and that a standardized universal measure is sufficient to test student learning. For example, Traditional education is heavily biased toward linguistic modes of instruction, or the sage on the stage model. As a contrast, the theory of multiple intelligences presupposes that we would better serve our students and society as a whole if disciplines and subject matter could be presented and learning could be assessed through a variety of ways. Recognizing different types of intelligence brings out the best in students. It helps them discover their inherent talents and gifts. Learn more about Howard Gardner's Multiple Intelligences at The Bin.